Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have a wig review for you from Bobby Boss and I have the style Cobalt. I've got it in the color PTL1B slash SHCP. So I'm not sure what that stands for, but this is some type of cinnamon spicy color. Today's video is being sponsored by Ebony Line, who was gracious enough to send me this wig to review for you today. Um, check them out. They've got some great prices, great selection, great customer service. I have been buying my wigs from Ebony Line since I began wearing wigs last year, and I have not been disappointed. Um, EbonyLine.com. Check them out. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get Miss Cobalt out the package so we can see what we're working with. All right, so I've got Miss Cobalt out the package and this is what she is looking like. So it is like a cinnamon spicy type color. And she's got, um, looks like a standard cap construction. The one comb in the back, the two combs in the front. Adjustable straps. And then she has a, um, I believe it's a four and a half inch lace parting space. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the lace cut, get her on, and then I'll be back and then we can chat about her.
Cobalt All Style Up, so let's talk about her. Um, let's talk about the color, because I love to talk about the color first. So she is in the color um, TTL1B slash SHCP. So you've got the um, 1B at the roof right here. That's the darker color. And then it's kind of like an ombre thing where it goes lighter. And then you've got this, still don't know what SHCP stands for. I'm sure it's on a website somewhere. I just can't think of it right now. But I know this is a cinnamony spicy color. So like a pumpkin spice. I think fall. Fall's coming up. So this is a very, very appropriate wig for the fall. So you see it's got, uh, you got red highlights up in here. You got a little face framing highlight right here. Very, very cute. Love it. Um, the style itself, I absolutely love it. Like, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw this wig, I was like, I don't know about this little curly thing on the side. Um, but I actually love it. It's like, it's cut into an angled bob on the sides here. And then it comes into these voluminous curls on the side, <laughs> which is really different. So I'm gonna spin around so you guys can see. I haven't not seen the back yet, but I imagine it's just cut straight and then goes at an angle. Very, very pretty. I like this style. And then um, I usually don't like hair in my face, but with this one, I might have to walk around with one eye. Okay, because <laughs> I love this. You know what this reminds me of? You guys might be too young, some of you, but when I was younger, there was this cartoon movie called Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And um, in the cartoon, there was, well, it was actually, half cartoon, it was a cartoon movie, but it had like um, real people in it. It was, it's, yeah, like really weird. It had cartoon characters in like realistic, like real people, real scenery, like we're walking around now. So the character's wife's name was Jessica Rabbit. And she was this real voluptuous woman, big boobs, curvy, had long red hair and her hair covered up one eye. <laughs> So every time I see a wig or some hair where one eye is covered up, I immediately think of Jessica Rabbit. So yeah, and she wasn't a rabbit. She was actually a woman. Yes, it's a movie about a rabbit married to a woman. Cartoons have come a long way, right? <laughs> so yes, this was, that's what that reminds me of. I love it. Um, I keep clearing it out of my face, but I actually love the look. So yes, um, color bomb love the style the texture is a silky texture you're not going to have tangling with it because it is so short um, from my experience when you get the um most of the straight synthetic wigs you have a lot of tangling with them but with this one shouldn't have any because it stops right here um at the neck and then um yeah because of the length that will not be a problem and i'm not getting hardly any shedding like maybe one or two hairs you know so i think that's pretty amazing for a straight synthetic wig so awesome i showed you guys the cap it's two combs in the uh, front one in the back the adjustable straps um i will say that i believe this to be not big head friendly and i'm gonna tell you why <laughs> when i was going to put her on um usually i have to put my wigs on the next to the last slot because I have a smaller head um, to make sure that they fit me snugly. This one I put, did that and I put it on and I was like, oh Jesus, <laughs> squeezing my head. So I had to take old girl back off and I think I put her on the, not the first slot, but the second slot to get her to where she feels comfortable and still fitting a little bit snug. So she may not be big head friendly. I will advise you to watch other reviews, um, wig reviewers to see what their experience is with this wig. But yeah, this fits snugly for me. So yeah. And then um, they put in like this, I wanna say like ear contouring here on the sides, which I thought was really cool. The only thing is on this side, um, it came over my ear. <laughs> I couldn't get it to match up just right. So I ended up sitting this side of the wig back on my hairline a little bit um, and I bobby pinned it down um, because of that, but yeah. And then on, on this side, I used the spray and kind of, I used the spray and kind of tacked it down a little because I am a hair tucker, ear tucker, 
hair ear tucker, whatever. I like to do this a lot. <laughs> and so I wanted it, you know, to look more natural if I ever decide to do that. So I think it looks more natural when you take it down. So yes, um, yeah. But it was really easy to style. I will say that um, the part is plucked. You have a four and a half inch lace parting space. It's pretty much plucked. And then you got some plucking at the hairline. It's nothing spectacular, but it's enough to make you not have to do any work. So in that way, this wig is very beginner friendly. Like it could literally be a throw on and go. I just did that spray and stuff because I know what I like to, you know, sometimes I like to do this. So yes, and I don't want this to flap it up when I decide to do it. <laughs> baby hair, she does have baby hair. You saw me take some out um, and um, scoop it down here a little bit. And I have learned a little trick because like I said before, I'm still, uh, I still consider myself a beginner wig wearer. But um, I used to struggle with baby hairs, but I've discovered that if I take some foam and just kind of put a little bit, they lay down easier. And then I kind of do some, uh, some edge control and the edge brush but yeah makes it a lot easier to me so that's a tip or a trick for anyone who is struggling um i still struggle to find them but i'm getting better <laughs> so yes this wig is easy to style love it i love it perfect fall wig so yes this re wig retails for about 30 dollars you may pay more um for specialty colors, I actually cannot remember if it's an upcharge, um, if Bobby Boss upcharges for um, specialty colors or not, but you may. So yes, and be sure to check out ebonyline.com because they do have this wig available. Um, yes, so that is it, I believe. Um, I love this wig. Love it, love it, love it. The only con is she may not be big kid friendly, but check out other people's reviews so you know for sure. So this is a winner for sure for the fall. Makes a perfect work wig or a perfect play wig. Whatever you know. If you have enjoyed this wig review, please hit the like and subscribe button. Be sure to leave comments, questions, concerns, whatever. And of course, as always, if you don't protect anything else, protect your peace. Thank you guys for watching. So thank you so much because I have over 200 subscribers now. So just a big thank you to all my subscribers and to people who have uh, continue to watch my videos, left comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope to see you back here next time and you take care. God bless.